they did live here. They worked for a major airline, <clears throat> but they, and they had worked up to a point that, if, if my understanding is correctly, new, at the time they called them stewardesses, now they're flight attendants, new flight attendants have to stay fairly close to the airport because they're basically on call. After they develop their chops, they are promoted to transatlantic flights or transcontinental flights. So they can live basically anywhere they, they want to because they know when they're scheduled. So they all lived in and around Buckhead. So they had made a, uh, an appointment, came by the office. By this time, my office had moved. We'd gotten out of that, uh, that uh, flea trap at five points and the office was right across from uh, the limelight on Piedmont, right at uh, Peachtree in what called uh, the Towers, uh, Peachtree Towers or something, Tower Place, Tower Place. So they came there, and my secretary's name was Wanda, and everybody called her Wicked Wanda. And she said, so she came in and she said, you're not going to be, believe it, but your 11 o'clock is here. And I said, great, show her in. And she said, well, it's not a her, there's five of them. And I said, okay, fine, show in the group. So they came in and they were all wearing their stewardesses, uh, flight attendants outfits. And they had made these little buttons up. I don't know whether they originated the slogan or whether they stole it from another airline but it said, fly me. That was the slogan. And I said, okay, ladies, what, 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 uh, what can I do for you? And they said, we all work transcontinental, trans-oceanic uh, flights, and we've got it worked out to where one of us will always be on duty, and we're going to open a bordello in uh, Buckhead, and we want you to represent us. And that was the story on, and they operated for a very long time. But they had worked it out to where there would always be one of them on duty, and that never got into their business that much. Whether they turned tricks or not, Richard, I don't know. I would say probably yes, because that's how they got the idea. Because if you look at it, they had the safest way in the world of, of uh, clearing clientele, because they were on a plane with them for several hours. So they would know who they are, where they're from, know a little bit about them, so they were fairly safe. So it was basically what I would call bust proof. And that, that is what I think gave them the idea because they, they got to a point, in fact, I, I, I'd bet a lunch on it. They had gotten to a point that they couldn't handle the clientele. That was what gave them the, the seed of an idea is, okay, fine, we need to expand. We need to bring other girls in. And part of the girls they brought in to work were other flight attendants. And then they started bringing them in for college girls and so forth. But you, again, you got to remember, this is a different era. It's not like today. You see some of the girls on the street today, God knows what kind of diseases they're carrying, where they're from, what they're doing. It's a whole other world. But back then, it was why I call it an era. They were, it was a, a part. They set themselves apart. 